All right, how's it going? We got our 2013 Ford F-150 here. Uh, I have the windshield wiper issue that uh, is uh, somewhat common on a certain range of these uh, F-150s. So what I'm talking about is our uh, turn signal lever, also used for our brights and our windshield wipers. Uh, when my windshield wiper gets turned on, whether it's just the first interval or the fastest, um, or sometimes even when I use the actual washer fluid, uh, the windshield wipers will actually get stuck in the slowest interval speed that there is. So you think your wipers are off and then all of a sudden it, they'll just go once and then you got yourself your 15 second delay, then it goes again. Uh, but anyways, uh, supposedly uh, this part, which is just getting the new multi-function uh, turn signal switch, um, the whole piece actually comes together. I picked this up from Napa. But yeah, it's a whole new lever. Um, I had read something that uh, talked about taking apart the actual steering wheel, having to disable the airbag. Intimidated me a little bit. I work on vehicles every now and again because I'll catch a YouTube video such as this, feel I'm confident enough that I, could, uh, I can do that job. And this is one of those jobs where I'm pretty sure all of us are gonna be able to do this. And hopefully this is gonna solve the issue. Let's hop over to the truck. Let's dive right in, make this a quick video. All right, so let's start by removing the three bolts with our 5.5 millimeter socket. Next, we're gonna pry apart this plastic that's around our steering column, and I used a flathead screwdriver for that. Next, I ended up using the flashlight that I showed you guys just to hold the top part of this open and expose the two pieces we're gonna work on. All right, so let's remove both these screws. The bottom screw also helps hold in place the pedal adjustment module, which we're gonna remove. The front cover was kind of optional, and I'm still not 100% sure that that was needed, but we're getting back to those back clasps right there that we have to unhook. Once we are able to pop those, we're gonna be able to expose the tabs on the actual multifunction switch. I removed this cover. So behind it, again, here are the tabs that you gotta remove. I ended up having a little bit of trouble using what I thought would be easy with the screwdriver, so I ended up using a set of my keys that I could fit down along the long edge and just pop up the tabs. Next thing was actually removing the switch, which is what those pink arrows are pointing at. Very small tabs that once you pull it aside, you can just pull the switch right out. And if you notice, my switch had this white gunk on it, which I wasn't quite sure, but I do have a feeling that's what was causing this problem. So I grabbed my air duster, blew it in there, and blew it all out so that the connector area would be clean. This is when I reinstalled my new multifunction switch, which was very easy. And now we just reversed the entire process. And remember, out of those two T10 screws, the bottom one helps hold in place the brake pedal adjustment. All right, we just hooked it up. I did something I don't usually like to do, which is reassemble everything before getting to test the part. Being that we're messing with the steering column and there was some electronics right there I disconnected, I wanted to just make sure everything was plugged back in, so I screwed it. I screwed it. There was only a couple screws to put in anyway. I've just turned on the car, got no errors. I'm not sure if there's even an error that could possibly pop, but let's uh, let's test this out. First things first, let's uh, make sure our blinkers work. Oh, good sign. Left works, right works, all the way down, keeps it blinking, that's good. And the true test. Oh, wipers turned on, so that was a good sign. Now the question is, are they gonna go again? Are they gonna go again? Let's do this, let's just do this again. All right, turned it on. All intervals are working. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We have turned it off. We're walking around.
stay off. Come on, stay off, baby. Stay off. Stay off, you son of a bitch. All right, people. I, I, I think we're fixed. I think we did it. I think with our uh, can of air spray, our trusty tripod, a few tools, but again,